I, I think Flood, uh, for uh, all intents and purposes, is still the best flex DPS in the entire game. He plays everything at a super high level. I, like, if you're going to start a team with a flex DPS, I think you start at Flood. Uh, maybe Libero's close, but I think Flood is a little bit better. Uh, yeah, he's definitely showing the first old dynasty. Oh, quickly changing up the angle. Logics will have the edge, but no, doesn't hit the shot. Flood are too quick for him. Rez will go off, but that's going to cost a healer's life. And Flood right now doing the damage. Such nice shots. It looks like they want to try to bail out. However, to make getting a late kill on Jaehong might switch things up. They need to res Jaehong. They do just that. And Tavik is punished again. Doing so much work here. Being so consistent. A lot of it's being erased here. <laughs> you just... You just can't make this kind of stuff up, man. Really. So not going to be able to find him so easily. Now they hit the nade. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my god. It's just whether soon can get the better of Flutter in one of these battles. Jaehong has done a nice job getting into the back line, puts the pressure on the Kareem. That'll be Flutter who gets a pick off on the space. They have done nothing in regards to taking out Flutter again. This is just like map number one on Blizzard World. I'm surprised to see the Gladiators doing this because Soul was, uh, you know, they were looking pretty strong against these kind of compositions. They played the Dallas Heal earlier this week. Yeah, well, Fleta just going in and wrecking people right off the bat. Remix Big Goose. Goodbye, Shaz. Yeah, but that needs to be able to get that big Rizzle wreck, so that's huge. Munchkin and Jake now zipping in over the points. Dragon Blade for Fleta is going to go for it now. He's down to 28 HP. Can he survive this? Looking for Raw because he's being pocketed. Hey, give the kick. Just hit him. Oh, no one can shut him down. 8 HP. Three kills. Well, this doesn't quite. He doesn't get kill him straight up in the back. But soon enough, as Fleta finally finds his opportunity, goes in with the blade, finds the one kill, looks for the fall, gets it on Moth. And here we go, Soul Dynasty might be able to eke out the win here at the at the very end. <laughs> one good Genji play deserves another. You allowed Houston to go into the last part of the map with the Ultimates, you're in a really bad spot. See, Flet is in the back line, Link's ahead to respond now. Gambler, can he get away? He's sprouted himself some wings, and yeah, he does fly on away. Dino's been taken down by Muma though, but Link's gets very little with that Dragon Blade. And Flet might just do a bit better, he does! And three kills! I kind of thought. Yeah, it is. I mean, if we're all already out, we're going to see Striker. He's just picked off on the flank by Flet. Oh, tanks will fall as Munchkin on the cleanup crew. A dash through from EQO will try, but I've got two dashes as Flet locks it out. Yeah, I mean, Zunba obviously was representative for South Korea in the World Cup. Uh, that first year we had on him, so and it was just unbelievable. Couldn't believe what he could do. So Fleta deals with Rascal and his Riptide. That's a nice little two for one. All alive, and yep, it doesn't even hold him back, just chucks it in immediately. They're looking for the angle here. Fleta, however, needs to play it safe because exactly right, he's got the tire. Just gotta throw that into the mix. Trance or not, you're a dead man! The Gladiators. And now Soul going to be coming in with zero support ultimates. They have to play into it a trance. That's a oh, long range grab. From downtown, the grab sent in there. Can they get through the shield with the dead eye? They can. Flutter gets two. Hydration and I remix going down. Now Weki looping in from behind. And just when you thought the gladiators had it wrapped up, Soul comes back in with a big play. He's going to have to use some of that healing to provide the rest of his teammates on the ground. That'll be a charge from both Reinhardt. So it'll be a dead eye that comes through any rip tire. They know he connects with that biotic grenade, all that healing from Munko goes out the window. Mara gets the Brigida in a composition that like has like whether it's gonna be like a Hanzo or a Junkrat, obviously extremely powerful, but they're gonna run the bar in. Oh, oh, oh he's gonna be able to connect with two. Oh, that's a good way to open things up here for Flatter and he'll make it three! On the tower on the Faras. As we see it basically Soul is just Oh, oh my, that's that the third time! Oh, oh, what? Flatter! Well, the EMP comes in, Fissure immediately dies afterward. The sound barrier gets going, though. Somehow they didn't catch Toby with that one. And they're going to go right back in with the Coalescence. Here comes a Meteor Strike from on high. Descends Fleta. Transcendence is there, though. Meanwhile, Munchkin does fall. Fleta finally trying to find those kills on Big Goose. He gets him. Here. I mean, the dive has to be perfect here from Valiant. Through these doorways, they've got to get on to it. Oh, what a shot! Do it. Fleta with the Helix Rocket, man. Is Robin under that one? Doesn't get much more accurate there. And now the attack visor comes in soon, in a lot of trouble. And the orb, but it's not enough. They're gonna try to push people back. There goes Burma, that's two. Speed, they can check out areas where other heroes are out of position. If they do so, Lucio's able to get back and mix. Blossom incoming, takes down three. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that. Textbook stuff from Fleta. Break the Rhine shield, and then there's nothing stopping you from shredding everything in sight.